Hello and welcome back to All About Community. Again, my name is Robert L. Harris. I am your host and my guest is Ben Bartlett. Ben is a Berkeley City Councilman, former uh, <clears throat> Vice Mayor of the city. And most of all, he is a candidate for Alameda County Board of Supervisors, District 5. And I just want you to know, I'm prejudiced. I have endorsed him. So uh, uh, that, I think, Ben, that, that speaks well for you. I have endorsed you, and I am prejudiced. <laughs> but you don't have to be prejudiced. You just go by the facts because this young man is our future and somebody we badly need on the Alameda County Board of Supervisors. Uh, ben, when we went to break, you were talking about uh, housing and, and, and the number of housing uh, units that have been built in, in Berkeley, which is outstanding. Now I want to know is uh, <clears throat> how have you prepared yourself by being a member of the Berkeley City Council for the Board of Supervisors of Alameda County? I'm certain there must be a nexus somewhere around. Absolutely. <clears throat> That's a great question too, Bob. So um, in Berkeley, mm -hmm. we have homelessness yeah. and we have poverty and we have um, seniors and we have rich people mm -hmm. and we have tech workers. We have it all. We have the mm -hmm. whole gamut. We have hospitals. BART station, we have all the elements that the county has. We also have our own health system. And so in Berkeley, because I'm trying to get at solving for the, the people on the street, and by the way, the average age of a new homeless person in Alameda County is 62 years old. Is that right? Yes. Mm. And uh, the fastest growing um, death rate among people are people 65 and older on the streets. So this is a real crisis of care. And so, when you walk around, you see people in tents. You see the, these, these men and these women in tents. Mm -hmm. That is a failure on the part of our government. And so in Berkeley, we worked hard to address it, but we're down the line. There's a, there's a fire hose. It's all coming out. And we're down there trying to fix it. So we've lowered homelessness by 5%, whereas the county's gone up 22%. Mm. We've, uh, and that frees up police, too, to focus on crime when you get people off the street. So... Shootings are down in Berkeley, 39%. Well, they're not <laughs> down in Oakland, that's for right. certain. But in Berkeley, that's good. Yeah, how, right. How have you guys been able to do that? Well, well many things I've led on. Mm -hmm. um, so we created, uh, uh, a civ civilian, civilian, we, we created a civilian mental health response team mm -hmm. to, to get at people in crisis. We've <laughs> housed people. Mm -hmm. uh, I personally wrote, wrote the city's health equity plan to make health care attainment for people on the street front and center. And so as a result, we have people uh, getting off the street and getting better. And I created a new form of housing called Step Up Housing, which is a prefabricated telemedical apartment building with mm -hmm. services in the first floor for people who are mentally, mentally ill. So we've created these mechanisms to get people off the street and into care, and it's working. And that allows police to focus on crime. Mm. I also went out and won a million dollar grant for violence prevention. I'm on the board of the Brady Campaign, which is a national uh, gun violence prevention group. And so we have great ideas and I deploy them and it's working in Berkeley and it should work for everyone. You know, our, our mission essentially is to, one, clean up the streets, mm -hmm. get people secure, get people safe, bring back fairness, get people housed, and the, the organs of the county are the only way to do it. And in my mind, this is an emergency because these are primarily black people. Mm -hmm. These are, are my family members. These are my friends. These are people who I share um, a common bond with. And if they're suffering, I'm suffering. And so we've got to fix it. So that, I think that uh, takes you into your, uh, what are your top priorities, which you call the housing affordability. And, uh, what do you mean when you talk about compassionate homeless solutions? Compassionate homeless solutions. What does that mean? So it's interesting. Uh, here in, in the Bay Area and other, other liberal cities, uh, the homeless are left to degrade in the streets. They're left to, left to literally die in front of us on the streets. And, it's, uh, and we're compassionate cities. That's not compassionate. Compassion is getting people into treatment, giving them care, mm -hmm. getting them fed, and getting them back into life. And so that means setting up an apparatus uh, where people can move up off the streets into care. 
and that means opening up housing. It means opening up treatment. It means mandatory drug rehab. It means conditional services. Well, what, what do you mean by mandatory drug uh, rehab? What people, person may not want it. Well, you know, there's a certain there's a certain price for admission, mm -hmm. right? If you're if you're going to be accessing <laughs> services, we needed to get well, mm -hmm. and I think that's reasonable. And I think that's time for it's time for that kind of process to happen because people again are degrading before our very eyes in the street, and it's not okay. You can't raise a family around that. You can't subject your own self to that moral degradation of watching your people die in front of you. No, I, I, I noticed that uh, Berkeley, in comparison to Oakland, uh, the dumping is really not a problem. But when you become uh, the next uh, board of supervisor member from uh, representing part of Oakland, you're going to inherit a hell of a problem. Because when you get across the Berkeley line to Oakland, it seems like a whole different world. What are you going to do? <laughs> we, we, have, we, have, we have dumping, too. We have dumping, too. So, a, But not a, like Oakland. Well, not, not as bad, but we, you'd be surprised we were not. Uh, we actually lost a major development. Um, a, a life sciences office building was going to set up shop, mm -hmm. and they pulled out because of the sheer amount uh, of dumping and human um, misery on this long stretch. They couldn't insure the project. It was unsafe. So we have it too. Uh, you know, luckily the state has given resources to address this, the new funds for dumping resolution, encampment resolution uh, to clean things up. But also again, getting people up on their feet into treatment, into housing, alleviates the dumping. Okay, and on that note, we're going to have to take a break. So don't <laughs> touch that remote. We will be right back in all of our about community. Again, my name is Robert L. Harris. I am your host, and my guest is Ben Bartlett, who is a candidate for the Alameda County Board of Supervisors.